Hmm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. Finally, to Pa's house, and perhaps visit Coffin Rock as well. The map grows awfully vague this far from town. I'm close to Pa's house, but I'll have to fill in my own details from here. Smell burnt wood. Pa's house must be nearby. I found Pa's house. Well, what's left of it anyway. The people from Beckettsville were quite thorough in demolishing this place. I was hoping that some of the interior would have survived, but they'd nearly leveled the place. But there were markings on the wall. I can just barely make them out. Honestly, if I'd only been able to see these before the house was burned down. Perhaps if I wipe some of this grime away... Oh, it's no use. The walls are too burnt. Where did my kerchief go? Huh, it couldn't have just disappeared. Well, there's nothing more I can do here. Time to move on. There's still one other place around here I want to see. According to legend, the Blair Witch has made a number of sacrifices on Coffin Rock. I was told it was near Pa's house.
something very strange has happened i've entered an area of unnatural darkness i heard strange sounds and saw some sort of movement oh things seem to be back to normal now i'll need to analyze my recordings of those odd noises this is strange someone has placed piles of stones and odd stick figures here they appear to be roughly in the shape of a human perhaps it's ceremonial or symbolic I don't know if these stones have anything to do with what I just experienced, but there seems to be a deliberate purpose to their arrangement. If there is witchcraft involved, there's no telling what sort of booby traps are attached to these things. I'd best leave everything as is. My senses aren't picking up anything, no ghosts anyway, but this is definitely a place that has witnessed evil. I wish I could bring the whole team out here, oh, but it would obviously attract too much attention. There just might be something in these woods. I certainly can't explain that brief darkness. I'll have to look into that when I get back into town. Something powerful is hiding in these woods. Hmm, Spook House requires more than just a bad feeling to warrant a full investigation. Unless I actually see anything, this case is closed. I need to get back to my hotel room. I'll report to Spook House that I've found nothing. Right, back to the hotel. I'll let Spook House know I've found nothing. That should amuse Stranger. I don't remember the path turning like this before. This doesn't correspond to the map. The path I came from seems different again. How am I getting so mixed up? Here again? Well, now I'm positive I've been walking in circles. Admit it, Elspeth. You are lost. How are you going to find your way back now?
Vah Otama. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you. I'm Elspeth Holiday. Call me Askaya Kigoi. In these woods, you should hold your name close to your heart. When someone knows your true name, they have power over you. But didn't you just tell me your name? No. I told you what you may call me. My true name. I keep to myself. Uh, I see. Worry not. I will protect your name. I followed a white owl here. Nay, Asja. The white owl is a symbol of great wisdom. It only reveals itself to those who are truly worthy. You must tell me now what it is you seek. I'm in search of my niece, Jenny. There is no need for you to lie. I don't know what you mean. You have no sister. You have two brothers, one elder, one younger. How do you know that? I told you, names are powerful things. All right. I'm here in search of the Blair Witch. I see. And do you truly believe in such things as witches? I've seen witchcraft, actually performed some myself. Yes, I see that. I can also sense that you prefer not to rely on any powers beyond your own. You open your heart only to what your eyes and ears tell you. That's true, but all I've encountered here are myths and legends. All myths and legends are rooted in truth. I'm not so sure. It may be merely a grain of truth, but it is there always. Are you saying the Blair Witch exists? I've heard the stories of your Blair Witch. I've known these woods for many years, and never have I seen such a witch. What have you seen? When the white man settled these lands, he brought his own evils with him. But this land was not without evil even before the arrival of the white man. Even before my people lived here. This is Givnur, or Sight. While you wear it, you may see signs of the evil that was here even before this forest. Givnur? Mm, from an ancient alphabet, much older than your own language. Given and Ur. Hmm, oily. That is the Akha. The Twana must be covered with Akha, or it is only a bundle of sticks. What's it made of? It is Akha, nothing more. Now, return to your people. Give Nur will allow you to find your way back. They change these woods. The forest twists under your feet, causing you to walk in circles. With Give Nur, you may find your way out. But take heed. There are forces stronger than Give Nur, and its sight might not always work. Why are you helping me? Because you are in need of help. And you are the only person who can help me. Can't you give me a straight answer? You, of all people, should understand the importance of keeping secrets. Is that not your task? Hiding the truth from those who would suffer by knowing? How could you know that? Knowing the truth is simple. Knowing what to do with it is not. Is there anything else you can tell me? I can tell you many things, but you have to know which questions to ask. Come back to me once you've learned more about this place. You'll have questions then, and I will have answers. Thank you for your help. We help each other. I've just met a peculiar native man named Asgaya Gagoy. He claims, well, he said many things, extremely puzzling. He knew some very specific things about me that he couldn't possibly have known. He displays authentic perception. He warned me to keep my name secret. Usually, though, such precautions are encountered with demonology. Demons. He implied that the evil that occupies these woods existed before Ellie Kedward or any other white settlers. So even before the Blair Witch, there was something dark in this forest. I'll have to check the library for Native American folklore about demons in these hills. Hmm, I wonder if the Blair Witch made some pact with a local demon.
That reminds me, the Givna necklace looks similar to the characters in Kyle Brody's drawing. I'll have to look into this alphabet more tomorrow. Oh, night has fallen. I've got to get back to town. Dogs like this aren't traditionally familiar to witches. The Givna necklace as Gaia gave me. As much as I hate the thought of trekking back out here tomorrow, it's getting a little too late for comfort. I can follow my map back to town.
trees are blocking my way. There is no way I could have missed that before. Either it wasn't there, or I couldn't see it because I didn't have this amulet. <laughs> 